Hi all, today we are going to be discussing on how to make a text summarization algorithm in Python. Text summarization is a very complex natural language processing subset and this involves a lot of calculations to be made. However, today we are going to be discussing about a simple algorithm that makes it very easy for us to understand how text summarization works. So obviously, we are not going to be using any advanced AI. We're not going to be generating new text, but instead we're going to be highlighting the important sentences sentences in an article and then printing them. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to sort each of the words in a sentence by a score. And the, the determiner for that score is the frequency. So you can see trees. For trees, we have a lot of uh, words, a lot of sentences which have trees in it. So we have trees is a very common word and this is about trees so t whichever sentence has trees in it will gain a higher score and we're gonna arrange the sentences by score and print the top 10 sentences based on the score so to do this we're gonna import two libraries first is NLTK this is a natural language processing library which means this is a library that is used for dealing with natural language like text and then we're gonna uh, import this library heapq heapq is used for working with a lot of data now this library you have to install to install it you just type pip install nltk into the terminal if you are on windows you can find more details on the installation you just type nltk a space python into google search bar and you can find lots of information about this next is heapq now this is a built-in library so if you're using the latest version of python it should come in built-in so after importing both uh, importing both of these you're gonna have to do a bunch of prerequisites now you only have to do this once and after that this is going to be loaded into your computer that's why i have commented this but if you've never downloaded these two uh, these two things you have to download it now so first one you just type nltk or download and in a string you just type punkt in all lowercase and the first second one you do the same syntax but in in the single quotes you type stop words in without any space so it will download these two uh, packages for you and so once uh, once you've downloaded these both you can begin with the actual coding so I've imported this text. As you can see, it is quite long and it extends for a lot of time. So yeah, if you want to see how this te text actually looks like in one screen width, here you go. So this is a lot of text. It's 50 lines of text and we're going to have to summarize it. Okay. So in Python, if you want to do multi-line text, we're going to use triple quotes at both sides. Okay. So now we're going to come into the main program. First, we're going to initialize what is known as stop words. Stop words are words that do not add any extra meaning to into a sentence. So words like so, but, in, on, and etc. So th these uh, stop words we have already downloaded here. So if you haven't done that, please do it. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to need to set this to a variable just by saying stop words equals nltk.corpus dot stop words dot words and in a string you type english or lowercase so this will set the stop words for us okay so next we're gonna split all of these articles uh, the article into sentences so we're gonna store this in a sentence list and for that we can use this nltk dot sentence tokenize or sent tokenize it's spelled this way i'm gonna input our text Next, we're going to make a dictionary that assigns word and gives the frequency. So it's going to be formatted with word as the key and frequency as the value. So first we're going to set an empty dictionary to it. Okay, then we're going to make a word list that houses all of the words in the sentence. And then we come to the main loop. Now this might look a bit complicated, but I'll simplify it for you. So first, it loops through all the words in this word list. Then, if that word is not a stop word, so if that word doesn't add any extra meaning into a sentence, 
and if it is not in the frequency map already then it will set it uh, set the key with that word to and the value to be one otherwise it is already there in the sentence uh, uh, frequency list or the frequency map that's what i call it here we're gonna add one to whatever it is so it's gonna loop through all those words so for example here we have three those silent giants that populate our landscape so it's gonna loop through all of these words then it's gonna check if each of these words is a stop word so those that and r are the main stop words here and then it's gonna assign a frequency score to each of these words hope that's clear okay then we're gonna set a max frequency so you're gonna check all of these uh, all of the dictionary for the values and whatever is the maximum frequency you're gonna assign it into this variable here okay next we're going to divide every uh, we're gonna have to divide every value in this frequency map by that max frequency now the reason we want to do this is because we're going to express every word in the max uh, in the frequency map as a percentage of the max frequency so it's gonna be a, a numbers from 0 to 1 hope that's clear again so this is gonna be uh, make it easy for us to sort the sentences okay so now we're gonna have to set the sentence scores so first we're going to make an em empty dictionary called sentence course and then this is the main loop for that okay so for the sentence course we again have to use multiple for loops first we loop through every sentence in this sentence list then for every word in the word word list if that word is in is in the frequency map and the length of this sentence uh, like the number of words in the sentence is less than 35 and if the sentence is not in the sentence score list we're just gonna set it to the whatever uh, frequency the word has or else we're just gonna append or uh, sorry add the frequency to the sentence score hope that's clear I'm gonna repeat it again this sentence dot split is we're just doing that to split the words based on the sentences like the spacing so for example you take this sentence you're gonna separate the words based on the space delimiter so delimiter is the separator for all these words so after we sp specify it this is to ensure that each sentence has no more than 35 words okay this is the final bit we are going to find the top 10 sentences based on scores so we use heap queue which is a library used for dictionaries and we find n largest which is basically finding the top largest scores and we, this is the dictionary that we are using sentence scores and the key is going to be sentence scores dot get which basically re, uh, returns the scores so we're going to sort these based on the scores and then for the final output we're going to loop through the summary and print each line okay so let's see this code in action going to the terminal I've already run this code so so yeah I've saved this I saved this as NLP program dot py and if you run it you can see that this has accurately summarized all that text so it uh, so it uh, categorizes sentence based on the main points and it gives us the final output so we can compare this to our text that we had before. So this is the text we have that we had before, and this is it now. So as you can see, it is heavily summarized, and yeah, compared to this is only like about yeah 15 lines, while this is 50 lines. So we can see how much of a difference this makes. So you can give it just about any sentence as long as it doesn't have special characters in it and it will summarize that sentence. Now obviously this does not generate any new sentence, it uses the older ones because generating a new sentence requires a lot more work, it needs AI to do it. 
but this is adequate enough for most of the summarization needs you can use this to summarize a lot of things and this has a pretty good accuracy so yeah that's it from this video see you again in the next video please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you find found it interesting and helpful